Hey, what's up, Magic players? Scott here from MTG Mind Games, and today I have a very special unboxing video for you. Today we're opening a booster box of Modern Masters 2015. Modern Masters 2015 officially releases May 22nd, 2015, and its release will be somewhat limited. If you aren't familiar with the set yet, some information about the set, uh, it's 249 cards. Twitter hashtag is hashtag MTGMM2015. The set was designed by Eric Lauer, Ben Hayes, and Ken Nagel, with development by Tom Lapilli, Max McCall, and Adam Prozac. The set is available for MSRP for $9.99 per pack, in English, Japanese, and Chinese simplified. This set is specifically organized for draft or sealed play, and Grand Prix are scheduled for Modern Weekend in Las Vegas, Nevada, Chiba, Japan, and Utrecht, Netherlands. We're going to go ahead and dive right into this box. Stay tuned to the end of this video for information about our next giveaway contest and how you could win some sweet cards. Modern Masters 2015 is the first set to feature exclusive new recyclable eco-friendly packaging and it's a good thing too since so much of this product will be opened at the Grand Prix coming up around the world. With the help of our trusty Zach Wild keychain we're going to go ahead and just jump right into this box. Ooh, the moment has come. I'm excited for this, you guys. I've been waiting a long time for this box to come out. The set is pretty awesome. Alright, so let's take a look. Oop. We've got our insert. And it actually shows how you can draft as part of the Wizards Play Network. Alright. Looks like we have the same kind of box we had from the original Modern Masters uh, or Modern Masters 1 and now we have this little cardboard insert. Just go ahead and move that over. And our cardboard packs. So we're just going to go ahead and empty out the box here. All empty. I like saving these boxes because uh, they're, they're a lot higher quality than your normal boxes. You can use these for decks. Um, or deck construction uh, later on. All right, so we're not really worried too much about any kind of organization here, but I do want to just go ahead and set these up. All right, so we have our 24 packs, and we're just going to dive right in. These are very nice boosters. You have all of your normal information on the back, and you just like that. It looks like you can kind of pop them right there and just pull them out. So we have a soldier token, scatter the seeds, burst lightning. Uh, we are not in focus, and that is the worst. Just our commons. It's very nice. We have a repeal so far. Sylvan Bounty. Sickle Slicer. Dark Steel Citadel. Now we have our uncommons. We have Scavenger Drake. World Heart Phoenix. Demir Guildmage, Eye of Ugin, it's pretty sweet. So Eye of Ugin, Legendary Land, Colorless Eldrazi spells you cast cost two colorless less to cast, and you can pay seven colorless. Tap it, search your library for a colorless creature card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Nice. And our foil, Inner Flame Igniter. So the foil's over here, 
and the rest of our cards can go off the side. We're going to pause here because I need to let my cat out. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. We are back with the rest of our packs from our Modern Masters booster box. Next pack. We're just going to go through our uncommons and our rares. Save time here. I know we all want to enjoy this booster box. So we have an elephant token. We're going to move quickly through our commons to our uncommons. Next up, we've got Devouring Greed. Shrewd Hatchling. Tumble Magnet, and our rare, a Spell Skite. Sweet. Two colorless, it's a 0-4 artifact creature horror. You can pay a Phyrexian blue, which is either a 2 life or a blue mana, and it will change a target of target spell or ability to target Spell Skite. It's really good in modern. And our foil is a Selesnya Guild Mage. This one wants to come to me. Let's see what we got. So our token is an Eldrazi spawn. We're going through our commons. We've got our uncommons here. We have an expedition map. Stormblood Berserker, Savage Twister, and our rare, a Wiltleaf Liege. <laughs> All right, a Wiltleaf Liege reads, uh, it's one colorless and Selesnia, 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 or green, 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 or white, white, white. Uh, creature Elf Knight, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Other green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Other white creatures you control get plus one, plus one. If a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard Wilt Leaf Liege, put it onto the battlefield instead of putting it into your graveyard. And here we go. Here's our foil. An Eldrazi Temple. Pretty sweet. All right. Next pack. We've got a germ token. Alright, so let's get to our commons. On to our uncommons. Here we go. We've got Dagger Claw Imp, Scargan Firebird. Hearthfire Hobgoblin, and our rare, a Mystic Snake, one colorless green and blue blue, creature snake 2-2 two -two with flash, when Mystic Snake enters the battlefield, counter target spell. It's pretty solid. Uh, and our foil is a Plagued Rizalka. Okay. Got a spirit token. And next up we've got Novigen Sages. Novigen Sages. Interesting. Dark Steel Axe. Drooling Grudion. Some interesting names here. And our rare, a Banefire. Banefire reads X and red. It's a sorcery.
Banefire deals X damage to target creature or player. If X is 5 or more, Banefire can't be countered by spells or abilities, and the damage can't be prevented. Sweet. And our foil is a Dusk Hunter Bat. All right. Next pack. <laughs> we got a token of nothing. Ooh. I don't want to give away the game, but we might have a good card here. All right, next up we've got Boros Garrison. Rootkin Ally. Orzov Basilica. And our rare, a Scoot Mob. Scoot Mob reads, one green, one one creature insect. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control five or more lands, put four one one counters on Scoot Mob. And our foil is a Cytoplast Rootkin. That's unfortunate. I thought that was a Tarmogoyf. <laughs> uh, that's the way it goes, though. All right, next pack. You see foil green, and you start freaking out in these sets. We've got another soldier token. Next up, we've got Reassembling Skeleton. Celestial Purge. Restless Apparition. And our rare, a Precursor Golem. Precursor Golem reads five colorless mana. Artifact Creature Golem. It's a 3-3. Three, three. When Precursor Golem enters the battlefield, put two 3-3 three, three colorless Golem artifact creature tokens onto the battlefield. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell that targets only a single Golem, that player that player copies that spell for each other golem that spell could target. Each copy targets a different one of these golems. It's pretty tricky. All right, so, uh, yeah, this card was always confusing to me, but it's uh, pretty much if you play a kill spell on one, it's going to kill all three. Likewise, if you play a uh, target creature gets plus five, plus five trample and vigilance, uh, all of them will get the same copy, so it's pretty nice. All right, and our foil is a Vampire Outcasts. Okay. We got a snake token. Next up, we have Carplusian Strider, Quilmonot, Cumulox, Cumulox, <laughs> Bestial, Men Bestial Menace, gotta get these card names right, and our rare, a Comet Storm. Yeah, Comet Storm is our first mythic. Okay. Yay, Comet Storm. And uh, we've got a foil here. What's our foil? A foil Apostle's Blessing. All right, then. We'll keep going. At least we got the Comet Storm out of the way. Hopefully we don't get another one. All right, we have a creepy-looking Thrall token. <laughs> uh... Okay. Next up we've got Incandescent Soulstoke. Wrecking Ball. Very nice. Dismember. And our rare. A Splinter Twin. Very sweet. Splinter Twin. Two colorless and two red. Enchantment Aura. Enchant Creature. Uh, hat, sorry, Enchant Creature has tap 
put a token that's a copy of this creature onto the battlefield. That token has haste. Exile it at the beginning of the next end step. Nice. And our foil is a Skyreach Manta. Okay. We've got a sapling token. Some commons. And our first uncommon is a flash freeze. Tajnar Swordsmith. Simic Growth Chamber. And our rare. A Shadow Mage Infiltrator. One colorless, blue, and a black. Creature, human, wizard, 1-3 with fear. Whenever Shadow Mage Infiltrator deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Nice. And our foil is a Dread Drone. All right. We have it. Another Eldrazi spawn token. Next up we have Deathmark. Drooling Grudian. Everflowing Chalice. And our rare, a Creekwood Liege. One colorless and one colorless and Golgari, 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 or black, 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 or green, green, green. We have a creature horror, two, two. Other black creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Other green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a one, one black and green worm creature token onto the battlefield. It's pretty sweet. And our foil is a Ghost Council of Orzova. So this would be our foil rare of the set. So unfortunately that means we're probably not going to get another one or foil mythic. That's unfortunate. But we can read this one. We have white, white, black, black. It's a 4-4. Four, four. When, when Ghost Council of Orzova enters the battlefield, target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. You can pay one, sack a creature, Exile Ghost Council of Orzova, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. It's a legendary creature spirit. Pretty interesting. It's a nice EDH card. We have a Fairy Rogue. Hopefully we get a Bitter Blossom out of that. <laughs> All right, next up we've got Artisan of Kozilek, Rakdos Carnarium, Ashenmore Gouger, and our rare, Inexorable Tide. Three colorless blue-blue enchantment. Whenever you cast a spell, proliferate. It's pretty interesting. Hmm. All right. And our foil, we have an All Suns Dawn. Hey, we've got a f another foil rare. So that's two foil rares back to back. Interesting. Hmm. All right. So All Suns Dawn, four colorless and a green. Sorcery. For each color, return up to one target card of that color from your graveyard to your hand. Exile All Suns Dawn. It's kind of dark. I don't know how I like the foiling on this card, but it's pretty interesting. All right, moving on. We're running out of room here. <laughs> All right, we don't have a token. Next up, we have Hikari Twilight Guardian. Bloodshot Trainee, 
Selesnya Guild Mage, and our rare, a Sura Surakar Spellblade. One colorless blue blue creature Surakar, 2 1. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may put a charge counter on Surakar Spellblade. Whenever Surakar Spellblade deals combat damage to a player, you may draw X cards where X is the number of charge counters on it. Interesting. And our foil. <laughs> Trying to do it slow there. Uh, we have a foil scatter of the seeds. All right. We have another Eldrazi spawn token. <laughs> we just saw what our foil is. Let's go ahead and give away our foil. We have a foil kite sail. <laughs> All right. We got Eldrazi temple. Spite Bellows, Lore Scale Coatl, and our rare, Profane Command. Profane Command reads, X, black, black, sorcery, choose two. Target player loses X life, return target creature card with converted mana cost X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Target creature gets minus X minus X until end of turn. Up to X target creatures gain fear until end of turn. Alright. Start making a little bit more room here. Okay. Next pack. Got another thrill. Next up, we have Vampire Outcasts, Necrogenesis, Everflowing Chalice, and our rare Iona, Shield of Amiria. Iona reads, six colorless and three white. Legendary creature angel, seven seven flying. As Iona, Shield of Amiria enters the battlefield, choose a color. Your opponent can't cast spells of the chosen color. Talk about a blowout. All right. And our foil is a Narlid pack. Okay. Got an insect token. Next up, we have Tezzeret's Gambit, Mortar Pod, Pillory of the Sleepless, and our rare, a Vendillion Click. Hey, right on. Uh, Vendillion Click reads one colorless blue blue. Legendary creature, Fairy Wizard. It's a 3-1 with flash, flying. And when Vendillion Click enters the battlefield, look at target player's hand. You may choose a non-land card from it. If you do, that player reveals the chosen card, puts it on the bottom of his or her library, and then draws a card. Pretty sweet. With the new art, too. Let's take a look at that new art. All right, so now we're in focus. That new art is very sweet. All right, we got our Vendillion click. Now we have a foil here. What's our foil? A Kami of the Ancient Law, or Kami of Ancient Law. Cool. All right, next pack. We've got eight more packs here, guys and ladies. We have another Fairy Rogue. Next up we have Gruel Turf, 
culling dais. Agony Warp. And our rare, a Mirren Crusader. Mirren Crusader reads, one colorless, white, white, two, two, creature, human, knight. It has double strike protection from black and from green. All right, and our foil, we have a brute force. We have a wolf token. Next up we have Spread the Sickness. Algae Garilia, Garil, Garil, Algae Garil, it's a crocodile, I have no idea what that is, a Garil, who knows. Spectral Procession, and our rare, Etched Monstrosity. Five colorless artifact creature golem, it's a 10-10. Etched Monstrosity enters a battlefield with five minus one minus one counters on it. You can pay a white, a blue, a black, red, and a green to remove five negative one negative one counters from Etched Monstrosity. Target player draws three cards. Interesting. And our foil is a Helium Squirter. <laughs> really? Really? That's hilarious. All right. Six packs to go. We're on that home stretch. All right. We don't have a token. Next up, we have Mutagenic Growth. Stormblood Berserker. Cranial Plating. And our rare. A Hercules Recall. Hercules Recall reads one colorless and a blue. Instant. Return all artifacts target player controls. I'm sorry. Return all artifacts target player owns to his or her hand. And our foil. We have a Rusted Relic. Whoa. We have a Sapperling token. All right, we have Is It Boiler Works? Electrolyze. Sweet. I think that's the first Electrolyze I've seen. Dark Steel Axe. And our rare, a Mirror Entity. Mirror Entity reads two colorless and a white creature shapeshifter. It's a changeling, so this card is every creature type at all times. It's a 1 1. You can pay X, and until end of turn, creatures you control have base power and toughness XX and gain all creature types. It's pretty insane. All right, our foil is a vampire lacerator. All right, four more packs. We have an Eldrazi spawn. Sweet. We have our first remand. Spectral procession. Sigil Blessing, and our rare, Endric Sar Master Breeder. Cardboard crack comes to mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, sweet. Guy's a wall of text. All right, so Endric Sar Master Breeder. It's a four colorless and a black legendary creature human wizard. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Whenever you cast a creature spell, put X-1-1 one -one black thrall creature tokens onto the battlefield where X is that spell's converted mana cost. 
when you control seven or more thralls, sacrifice Endric Sar Master Breeder. Interesting. And our foil. We have a foil Darksteel Citadel. That's sweet for legacy. All right. We have another Sapperling token. Core Duelist. Boros Swiftblade. Mole Drifter. And our rare is a Spike Shot Elder. Spike Shot Elder is a single red, 1-1. One, one. Creature Goblin Shaman. One colorless and red red. Spike shot elder deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. And our foil is a thrumming bird. Okay, two packs to go. We have an Eldrazi spawn. We've got Overwhelm, Dispatch, Oblivion Ring, and our rare, a Fulminator Mage. Yes! <laughs> ah, this is one of those cards I wanted, you guys. Fulminator Mage, one colorless, black, red, black, red, or as you'd call it, Rakdos or Rakdos. Uh, creature, Elemental Shaman, it's a 2-2. Two -two. Sacrifice Fulminator Mage, destroy target non-basic land. All right. And our foil is a Rakdos Carnarium. Seems kind of fitting. We are on our last pack. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and leave a comment. Let us know what you thought about the box, and uh, we'll have a giveaway at the end of this video, so stay tuned. All right, we have no token. All right, last up, we've got Azorius Chancery, Water Serpent, Selesnya Guild Mage, and our final rare is a Surgical Extraction. Surgical Extraction is a black Phyrexian mana, so you can pay two life or a black mana. It's an instant. Choose target card in a graveyard other than a basic land card. Search its owner's graveyard, hand, and library for any number of cards with the same name as that card and exile them. Then that player shuffles his or her library. It's a really good sideboard card. And our final foil is a Waxmane Baku. All right, so let's review what we got in our box. Welcome back, Magic players. We're going to go over our review of our Modern Masters 2015 box. Um, our overall feeling so far about the box, after having calculated our contents, uh, is not a good one. <laughs> uh, this is definitely not worth the price that you'd pay for it. Um, we didn't even break even. So if we were using Tolarian Academy's um, infinity box ratio uh, of buying a box, getting the value, being able to sell the contents of the higher price cards on eBay, we wouldn't even be able to break even. And um, opening boxes just isn't lucrative unless you open a Tarmogoyf. So we didn't unfortunately open a Tarmogoyf, which is fine, but you know we didn't actually get uh, the Mythics because we had our Comet Storm uh, I really feel like Comet Storm was a curse of uh, of Wizards' way of putting Comet Storm into these boxes in order to speed bump some of the value out of uh, out of this higher priced MSRP, which is you know it's something that they do in all sets actually. Um, you know, not all Mythics can be uh, 
chase rares and things like that. We, it is nice that we were able to hit some cards like uh, Eye of Ugin, Spellskite, the Wilt Leaf Liege, Splinter Twin, Fulminator Mage, and Remand. These are, you know, these are played cards in Modern, uh, as well as Sh Iona, Shield of Emeria, and Vendillion Click. Comet Storm is just funny. All Suns Dawn and Ghost Council of Arzova are more like EDH throw-ins. Uh, the Surgical Extraction is nice that we got um, just a sideboard card over here. And a Hercules Recall against Affinity is also nice. The rest is, I want to say, it's just really bulk. Um, you know, some of our commons and uncommons are nice for filling out decks and things like that, like cards like Dismember, Spectral Procession, Electrolyze, Expedition Map, uh, Cranial Plating, Mutagenic Growth, Dispatch, and uh, Dark Steel Citadel. Uh, Smash to Smithereens, I was surprised, is actually at about $2. I know it sees a lot of play in other formats and things like that. Uh, it's just not really a card that um, was on my radar, so that was pretty interesting to see that I pulled three of those and actually what's sad is that smash to smithereens is actually worth a lot of our um, <laughs> is worth two to one on some of these rares over here so that's unfortunate but you know we were able to bring this to you guys for the channel and it's all good uh, we will be having a giveaway here and we're just gonna pick a card from this um, you know what all right guys so I'm feeling generous Hey, what's up, Magic players? Scott here from MTG Mind Games, and we've got a killer giveaway for you. We just finished opening our box of Modern Masters 2015, and we're giving away a whole ton of sweet cards from the box. We'll also be throwing in a foil Death Miss Raptor for you standard players out there. This giveaway will be ongoing until we reach 500 subscribers on the YouTube channel. Now, there are several ways you can enter this contest. First and foremost, to be eligible, you must subscribe to the MTG Mind Games YouTube channel. Then you have to like this video, leave a comment below. It can be anything from why you like modern, why you like MTG Mind Games, or what decks you need these cards for. Share this video on social media like Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram with the hashtag MindGames2015. And that will give you one entry into the contest. We're also offering a special way to gain more entries for the contest. For five additional contest entries per person, go to teespring.com slash mtgmindgames, purchase a t-shirt or hoodie, and then when your MTG Mind Games shirt or hoodie arrives, take a picture of yourself wearing it, post that picture to the social media of your choice, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, with hashtag MindGames2015. We'll leave all of the details for the contest in the description below. We currently have a Teespring t-shirt and hoodie campaign going on from May 14th through June 4th. So if you're interested in additional contest entries to better your chances of winning, or you just want to support the channel for future giveaways and contests, now is the time to go get your t-shirt or hoodie. Thank you for watching, and this has been Scott with MTG Mind Games saying peace.